and your own daughter to do it. I couldn't sleep last night. You wouldn't believe where I went. Well, you probably would. I went back to that road in Connecticut where I went off the embankment. You took care of me like no one else ever has. I did love you for that. I just couldn't give you what you wanted. What you need. All of me. Now you're gone. Maybe because, like you, Ryan wanted to save me too. Sorry, Mrs. Hayward. I need to get started. since last night. I went for a drive. Now is not the time for sightseeing, Greenlee. They're about to dissect my husband. Kendall, I don't need this. Well, then you haven't heard. What? Ryan turned himself in. Needs our help. Now, once you start remembering what happened the night I, I may not ever remember. Well, whether you do or not, I mean, somebody had to have seen something. Somebody knows that you didn't kill David. And we're going to find that person. We're going to get you out of this. Madison. We're going to clear it all up, okay? No matter how long it takes, I'm going to be here, and I'm going to do whatever no, it takes. No, 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 no. I don't want you to do that. What do you mean? Before last night, I told you that, that this whole, this whole, this whole Greenlee and, and David mess would be over by now. And now, I can't, I can't make that promise anymore. I really don't want you to be part of this, okay? I don't want you to be in the middle of it. Well, I'm, I'm in the middle, Ryan. I'm with you. Ma I want Madison, help. you've been through enough already, okay? You've already, you've gotten away from your, your father and, and your husband. I, I don't want to add to that. I don't care about that. I care about you. And I care about you, which is, which is why you got to go. You, Ryan. You, you no, know, I'm serious, Madison. You got to go. Please. Kendall, I have a meeting. This won't take long. Five minutes. Okay, what do you want? I know Ryan is a suspect being detained. So? So he shouldn't be. All the police know is that he got into a fight. A fight with David that killed the man. Where's the proof? There is enough incriminating evidence. Like what? You will see when this goes to trial. David is gone, Liza. You don't work for him anymore. Uh, you used to be Ryan's friend. Be his friend again. Kendall, you think that since you found a way around the legal system when you were up for murder that everybody else can too? Okay, since when are you on the good side of the law? You, you helped David blackmail Greenlee. But all of a sudden you're, you're the new DA and so you think that your hands are too clean to help a good friend? I had no idea about the blackmail. Right, David just gave you those papers for safekeeping. He didn't tell you it was evidence he was holding over his wife's head to keep her with him. Okay, so if that's the case, then those papers would give Greenlee's great protector, Ryan, sufficient motive to kill David, wouldn't they? And don't have some bright idea by coming in here and trying to ransack my office looking for those papers, because Ryan has already tried it, and I've learned my lesson. I keep them safe at all times. After you. So Natalia tells me you're still refusing legal counsel. But you want to sit down with Liza Colby. Do you know if Natalia has called Liza yet? She's on her way. 
can we talk off the record? There's nothing to say, Jesse. I'm trying to help you here, Ryan. You gotta work with me. You gotta give me more than you gave up last night. I wish I could. I don't, I don't, I don't remember anything else. The only thing you need to remember is that you did not throw the first punch. I need to see him. He's in with the chief. Yeah. Better. Get through to him. You just want to make things better? You got to trust me on this. What are you going to do? You don't need to know. You're here because of me. David is dead because of me. Wow, that's not usually the reaction that I get. Why are you always sneaking up on me? You just appear out of nowhere. I wasn't sneaking. I'm just flat on my feet. Okay, well, what do you want? I wanted to see you. Did you also want to come apologize for ditching me after David's body was carted away? I was just weirded out about the whole thing. Who was it? I mean, you could have uh, at least waited until I was done being questioned by the police, and then you could have bolted. Sorry, you can't handle being around cops. Trouble with the law? Mm. Hey, Frankie, it's me. Look, if you're not too crazed, could you just give me a call? Natalia. Hey. Hey, do you know if Frankie's working today? He's with his mother at a doctor's appointment. Yeah, I heard about what happened with Angie. I, I feel terrible. And now I feel terrible for even leaving Frankie a message. Oh, he has enough on his plate without listening to all my problems. Yeah, I definitely agree. In fact, it might be nice if you left my brother alone altogether. I know Ryan is being held here without a lawyer. Good morning to you too, Kendall. Jesse, you should not be questioned any further, not without a lawyer present. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. But as I understand it, Ryan has refused counsel. Can't force anyone to take on representation. Where is he? Well, this is a nightmare. First, Ryan turns himself in, and then the, the victim's pet lawyer becomes the new DA. Well, it doesn't look good for him. There must be something I can do to help Ryan. Right now, the only person that can help Ryan is Ryan. You are not responsible for David's death, Greenlee. It's on me, okay? Nobody else but me. Don't say that. Don't, don't even think it. I need you to leave so I can question the suspect. Suspect? You're not even sure what happened. I have witnesses to the altercation between Ryan and the victim in your room right before David died. I also have evidence in my possession that gives Ryan motives for wanting David gone. You do remember the evidence, don't you? It was fake. It's okay, Greenland, you gotta go. I'm not leaving. I need to talk to Liza alone. Why are you doing this? I really think a better question is why are you defending a guy that might have killed your husband? 